Okay, I messed up my video because um, somebody called me and I don't know how to put two videos together. So I'm having to start over. She is going on and on about this whole gay thing. So you had to be reading people chats for you to even come up with that. Okay, so I'm not going to go all the way back, but she started this with the whole thing that her and Miss Charlene was having a relationship. So they going to go to California and get married. It's supposed to be a joke. But then she went into a whole rant about the African-American culture. Ma'am, you can't represent us. You can only represent the world that Vanessa lives in. And we know that's small and you're in the desert. You're not even around people. So my thing is, how are you going to say how all of us have been raised and then she went back to slavery, being in the fields and all this. And you claim that you didn't even believe in slavery. Let me see if I can get that little piece. Because she went on a whole little rant. I see how our own people have to belittle each other mm. in every aspect. Like if we, just, if we, we, we was raised African-American women in a cotton field alone. <laughs> Okay, ma'am, what cotton fields were you in? Because I personally was not raised in the cotton field next to a guy, nor did I have my son out in the middle of the cotton field while I was picking cotton. Yeah. Where, where are you getting all that from? Because you didn't either. And you do, as you said, you're going to do whatever it takes to take care of you. And we know that. That's why the relationship is questionable. It's not because of Miss Charlene. It's because of you and what you do. Because you had to do all that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this woman is saying this. You're taking a whole st stereotypical analysis that other cultures put on us. We weren't raised in no damn cotton field, having no babies out there, working next to a man. And we're not rough around the edges because of all of that. You're rough around the edges because that's how you are. I personally am a very effeminate woman. And my thing is stop standing out here on YouTube trying to represent all African-American women. Just because you Bob the Builder and Tim the Tim, Tool Man Taylor, that's you. Not every woman does that. Stop it. Because you're making people think that all women are like that in African-American culture, and that is not true. That is just you, ma'am. Just you. And sometimes I wish you would just close your mouth. You talked through this video so much that Miss Charlene had to turn the TV up and she was ignoring you. You have no social skills. You wanted to do a video on, on prepping food, then that's what you should have did. But you had to keep calling her, calling her, calling her. It's annoying. She's used to being able to watch her movies and actually watch them without somebody calling her name every two minutes. Oh, I hadn't seen the rest of this. Let me see what this bra is going to say now. Mm -hmm. And you have, you have done what it took. No, ma'am. <laughs> First of all, majority of that statement is a lie. You don't get up and do what you have to do. You get up and beg and plead and borrow and steal to get what you need to do. You con, manipulate, and you're very deceptive, such as now. 
So you saying all that, if that was the case, then you would be like a lot of women, don't have to be African-American women, a lot of women who are out here taking care of themselves and their children, and they're working a job to do it. They're not on YouTube begging. There's some that may use YouTube as a second job if they got enough subscribers. And if it gets where their page is flourishing and can take care of them and their children, then they will do that. But you look to other people to take care of you. So what the hell are you talking about? What? Don't nobody even care. You have talked about the LGBTQA community bad. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with them? What about YouTube? Won't you? Why are you putting it on YouTube? Even the dogs are saying you're lying. You hear the dogs? They're trying to drown you out because you talk too dang on much. The dogs is tired of you. Thank you. It's you. Don't nobody care about nothing what you do as far as that's concerned. Well, uh, she says she ain't crazy, but I'm going to question that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, when you stand before God, I hope you're fine with the fact that you've been deceptive, lying, cunning, manipulative, scamming, and all that. Now, let me get back to work, because, see, now she's getting upset. <laughs> she's getting upset, but get off YouTube if you don't want nobody asking you no questions. Oh, my gosh. Quit using her then. Quit using her as a significant other. To take care of you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm going to leave on that note. <laughs>